Yo, what's going on guys, it's Xanadu. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a customs, dorms, loot run. It's very short, very simple. It's not really like a lot of crazy loot. It's mainly just looting safes and jackets and stuff of that nature. There's a little bit of loose loot and rare valuable spawns, but for the most part, we're going dorms, we're hitting jackets, safes, and then we're getting out. The faster you run this, the faster you get back into a raid and you just keep repeating yourself, a lot of money you're going to be making. You will run into some PvP here and there. You're just going to have to be careful. But thankfully, a lot of the loot that you do get here, you can just shove right into your docks case. And then there's obviously car extract right on the back of dorms, so you can get right out easily, no problems. But let's stop wasting time. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're over here on customs in the dorms area. And these are gonna be the keys that you need. These silver keys are gonna be third story. And these blue keys are gonna be second story. So this is third story dorms, that's second story dorms. I usually start over at third story. Just for the sake of the video, I'll start at floor one. You'd hit this door on the right. This is 101. There's gonna be two jackets in here that you could hit. 104. There's gonna be one jacket and two hot babes on the uh, wall there. Two jackets in here. This room is 105. Factory exit key can spawn inside there. This this room's always open. Down the hall here, uh, loot can spawn here, just like tech items and Bitcoin, stuff of that nature. We come down the hall here, 117. You could open this, there's nothing really in here. Just filing cabinets, but across the hall. 118. There's gonna be two jackets in there that you could hit. Then we're gonna go up to the second floor. We'll just start down here. two jackets here as soon as you open this door so we started down there if you were to just come right up these stairs here into your left two jackets 204 there's gonna be a safe right here that you could hit medical spawns right on that little suitcase this little jump over part, you can crouch in here. This is 205. There's two jackets here, and machinery key will always spawn in here. So the, the prep request that you get early on, this is an easy way to get machinery key. It's guaranteed spawn. And then a jacket there, of course. PC in that room if you care to loot it. Run all the way down this hall. And if you were to come into the back entrance of three story, this is obviously still the second floor. 214. There's gonna be a safe in here that you could hit. And this little area over here. You have two jackets. And then 220. You have one jacket and a duffel bag. Then you have a green box here, green box here, and a green box here that you could hit. And then food and gold chain and stuff can spawn on there. We're gonna go up to third story now. This right here is the marked room. I do not have the key, but that's marked room. And then you have two jackets uh, in this room here. That's pretty much everything for third story. Next, you want to jump down on here. You can run down the stairs, but I'm just going to jump down on here. Also, car exit. That's car extract. So I always bring rubles with me. Ah! Now, 
now we're gonna head over to two story. As soon as you come in, there's gonna be a duffel bag here. This armored door. Yeah, two jackets, a duffel bag, some food. There's a weapon case in there if you care enough about it. And then you have 110 and 114. You can kind of remember it by looking at the paper on the door. You have one safe in here. And then you have a safe and a PC in here. And you want to go up the stairs. You have two jackets. You got two jackets in here. Across the hall, you got two jackets here. And we run down these stairs. Go back outside. There's a, this is like fenced off, so you have to go outside and come in here. And you have 105 and 104. You have a jacket, two jackets, and a toolbox. Uh, obviously, if you bring a docs case, you can throw in stuff like GPs, uh, diaries, SSDs, stuff of that nature. Throw all these rubles in there. And then I would I would probably take something out, such as like the splint, maybe throw the, the gold chain in there. Uh, maybe some other valuables, depending on what I get. And then you can guarantee yourself some loot. A lot of that stuff vendors pretty well. That's pretty much for the video, looting dorms. My main goal, get in, get out, be fast. The quicker you can get in, the quicker you can get out, the more raids you can go into, which means you just maximize your profit. The loot I got in this offline raid was kind of mediocre. I feel like the loot always is terrible in offline raid. I got a lot more loot online. And I like getting the jackets because you have a chance of getting a rare key, as such as ultra medical key or a shoreline key or expensive reserve key, for example. Completely RNG. But I make a lot of money running dorms, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, we're doing a red key card giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed already and you enjoy the content, or you want a chance to enter to win a red key card, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. More videos are coming soon. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.